I recently bought an electric outboard, an e-propulsion Spirit One Plus. It's a very cool bit of kit, but I have a problem. How do I attach it to my boat? My oak and mahogany lugger is half decked, so I can't just clamp the outboard to the transom like you normally would. The obvious fix would be to bolt an outboard bracket to the transom, but I'm not keen on doing that for a number of reasons. First, I want to avoid drilling holes in the boat. Second, mounting a bracket to just one side would throw the boat's balance off a bit. And finally, I really don't want an ugly bracket permanently attached to the stern. I gave the problem a lot of thought and came up with this weird contraption. It's a prototype bracket that does not need to be screwed into the transom, can sit in line with the centre of the boat and only has to be attached when needed. Yeah, it's pretty ugly, but it's just a prototype. If it proves to be a goer, I'll make something stronger, less bulky and much, much more aesthetically pleasing. Here's how it works. When I want to use the outboard, I simply remove the rudder and slot the outboard and bracket onto the back of the boat. Designing the bracket was a bit tricky. The top of the transom and deck are both curved. The transom itself is angled. It's not set at right angles relative to the deck. On top of that, the outboard needs to sit at just the right height so that the propeller runs deep enough in the water to avoid cavitation. The bracket works by spreading the outboard's weight across the transom and deck. It hooks securely over the lip of the transom to prevent any back and forth movement. The pintle fits into a groove cut into the bracket, which stops it from shifting side to side. To prevent scratches, I added a cloth to protect the varnished transom and deck. Any final version of the bracket would include a leather lining. I couldn't think of any reason why this prototype wouldn't work, but I needed to test it in the wild. So I gave the bracket a shakedown at Itchenor, near Chichester. I found that it's much easier to swap between the outboard and rudder if the outboard is fitted to the bracket before installing it. Slipping on the bracket, then attaching the outboard to the bracket is just more of a fiddle. Jane and I pottered about between Itchenor and Delkey. Once on the water, I realized that in choppy conditions, there was a chance the bracket could lift off the top of the transom. As a precaution, I tied a safety line to the outboard to make sure I couldn't lose it. The bracket worked really well, and the quiet of the e-propulsion was an absolute joy. The next step is to build a more refined version of the bracket out of oak. When I do that, I'll add a brass pintle to the bracket that will slot into the existing gudgeon on the transom. I'll put a pin or split ring through the bracket's pintle to prevent any vertical movement, keeping the bracket locked in place. 